So for today, we're going to be reviewing the Taken King armor set. If you guys don't know, this is the dungeon armor set that got available during Season of the Deep and should still be available in the future. So if you are interested, you can definitely check out the dungeon and hopefully you have better luck than me because this took me quite a while to get. Thankfully, we got all the armor pieces already. We're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. And this one's going to be rough because I know a lot of people really like this armor, me included. I love the armor, but I do have some gripes with, with, with it. That we will go through so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it other than that let's look at the armor set so to start off let me just say i love this armor set i think all of it looks really really good all of the pieces are symmetrical which is definitely something you love to see even the hunters got symmetrical arms which wow honestly i was not expecting symmetrical arms uh boots are symmetric everything is symmetrical for all the classes which is really really cool um I'll get to the negatives at the shadering because it's more so shadering. I think the armor, like the actual armor, looks amazing. Design wise, it's beautiful. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, if I were to give some small gripes, and I mean like this is me be just being nitpicky, I would say the Titan helmet, I think I would have preferred like a knight helmet. To be fair, I think I would have preferred like actual hive helmets instead of what we got for this one. Not saying they're bad, I think they look cool. It's just for the Titans, a knight helmet would have looked cool. And then for the Warlocks, a wizard helmet would have looked, looked cool as well. For the Hunters, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the helmet that we got. But that's really it. The other, the other thing, and this is all really come down to shadering, is I wish the candles on the class items, the specifically the flame, I wish the flame actually did change color. It doesn't change color. It's always going to be that red which is not the biggest deal in the world, but I do wish we could change it. I also wish the candles on the waist for the warlock actually were lit and changed color. And that's really it. The only other unfortunate thing with shadering is the fact that the mark for the Titans does not shader the same for everything else. So once we get to shadering, just make sure you're looking at the, at the uh, mark for the Titans. You guys will notice why I say that. But for the armor pieces, I think the helmet for the hunters is the best helmet right now for me, at least for a like hive themed helmet. It's definitely the best helmet in the game for me, for sure. The class item is super, super cool. I love it to death. The chest piece, love it. Arms, I'm going to be real. I don't like the pauldrons. I think the pauldrons are the only weak part from the whole set. But that's really just being me being nitpicky again, because I still think it looks cool. It's just I would have preferred a different design um the forearms super cool the boots i think are the coolest boots for the hunters right now for me i just think they look really really cool and overall i'm really happy with the hunter set for the titans helmet is super dope arms are super dope the chest piece is cool the mark is also really really cool but i think the boots really just take it away from me again because they all they are really really cool um if i were to say which one is the weakest point i would probably say the arms are the weakest point and I say that, but I feel like the chest piece also is pretty weak. But again, this is like saying this, it's still good armor. It's still dope armor. It's just when you compare it to everything else where it's like, this is an S, this is an S. This is like maybe like a B or an A. It's still good for the Warlocks. Helmet is probably the best war or for the helmet. The for the Warlocks, the helmet is probably the best hive helmet in the game for me. And it's not even close. It looks so amazing. Chest piece, I actually that I, I like the chest piece quite a bit. The arms, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of the arms. They look cool and and I love that the hands actually have like pointy like uh like skeletal bits in it. But the it's the robe of or not the robe but the cloth of the arms that I'm not the biggest fan of. Although I have made some cool sets with it, which you guys will see in the future because I've already made those sets. But I would say the arms is probably the weakest portion of this because I think the boots are super dope and the even the the bond is super cool as well. So overall, I think everyone ate really well with this set. I'm really happy that we got some good sets because we've been needing a really good hive set because the ones that we currently have, I feel like uh, the the not hive theme, the thorn themed set from uh, the dungeon. I forget what the uh, grasp of avarice. I think that one's cool. But there's some pieces for some of the classes that I'm like, I don't like this at all for specifically the hunters. I think a lot of it's pretty bad. Um, I say that it's just the boots and the arms being asymmetrical really pissed me off. But there's just a lot of cloth in the hunter one. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. But everyone else got some really good pieces. So I'm happy that we 
just got like a really good hive piece. As for hot shaders, So a few things to note for the shadering. First and foremost, you guys will notice that the shadering, and I'm going to have to go through shadering just to really explain it because I have not only the shaders to talk about, but the, also the other shaders, the special shaders. So like the ones that turn off the glow or the one, the RGB ones. So to start off, we're just going to go with ancient wisdom. This is going to be the best one for this. Actually, let's go with the next one, which is going to be echo anger because that one, you can actually notice it quite a bit. So for all of the armor pieces, aside from the mark for the Titans, you guys will notice that a lot of the armor has a blue glow over the actual armor piece. And this is the unfortunate part and why I think this armor is going to be very limited use for me, because if you combine this with other pieces, you guys will notice that it's going to be overshadowed by this really bad glow that's over the actual armor set. Now, if this is a bug and hopefully I fucking hope it is, then Bungie will fix it because I personally don't think it should have a glow over the actual armor piece on the cloth, more power. I don't care about that, but on the actual armor piece, I don't think there should be a glow in there because it really limits not only what shaders you can use with this, but also what armor pieces you can use with this. So it's one of the coolest looking armor sets with one of the worst glow limitations I've ever seen. Because again, with Echo Anger, it's clear as day when you see the mark on the Titan. The mark has that really cool red that you know from anger, Echo Anger, but then every other armor piece has that like glow, that blue glow that's overlapping with the actual red. And it's really, really terrible. Like, like it's just absolutely terrible. We see another shader right here, which is going to be the uh, Abyssinian Gold. And for Abyssinian Gold, it's pretty bad as well as you guys can see. There is a, like a, a, a tint of red over the armor. And that's not supposed to be the color that's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be that brown or black color. So again, I'm just really annoyed with the fact that they decided to do the shading this way because it's not supposed to be this way. It's supposed to be just, well, to be fair, I'm not, I don't know how it's supposed to be, but if it were up to me, I would not have sh let the shader or the glow overlap the armor color because now it just looks really, really dumb. And specifically with like cryptic insignia, you can see like, it's supposed to be a pure white with a blue glow and everything's blue except the, the Titan uh, uh, mark. So it's just, it's unfortunate. It's going to be annoying to like really shader over that or just completely ignore it. Like some of the other shaders we currently have right now, which is going to be the first one, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it does, it does a better job and it's 
currently the only available shader that you can get if i remember correctly which is going to be chitin slate chitin slate is going to be it's good it looks pretty good i just don't like how it looks with the cloth because the cloth turns like a a very bright white and i just not the biggest fan of it personally don't get me wrong it looks pretty cool in certain sets but if you want to combine this with other black shaders then you're going to definitely want to do that instead because again this this white is a little too bright for me personally i would not combine this with the chest pieces because the chest pieces have cloth or the cloth the class items most of them have cloth as well so you're just gonna have to choose which one you do with this one if you were playing through season of the chosen if i remember that's the season it came out in then you have you should have the shader called testudo that one is going to be the best shader for it just because testudo not only turns off the glow on the actual armor pieces but you also doesn't turn it off completely you can still see the mirage of the cloth design the glow specifically but it turns it off enough where i don't mind it and you actually have to like really look at it to, to notice it so if you have testudo testudo is going to be one of the best shaders for this because again it turns off the glows for pretty much all of it, it gives you a really good gold and it's going to make you or it's going to allow you to combine it with other pieces so for me this is going to be purely organic looking armor so specifically the the warframe armor that we got from season see we it was forsaken if i remember correctly from eververse that armor the firefly set if i remember correctly that one's going to be really good another set's going to that's going to be really good for this would be the any anything with hive themes so the king's fall armor set if we get crota next season where crota is going to be a really good armor set with it the grasp of avarice is going to be a really good one as well because that's not that's not hive themed but it's thorn themed and that's close enough anything organic is going to look really really good with this last but not least i'm going to show you the shader the uh photo finish just because why not and i personally like photo finish photo finish is a pretty good shader it's just this is much more of a novelty thing than anything else so for me i'm not gonna use it that much so let me know what you guys think about the armor again i love this armor let me just get that out of the way i think this armor is really really cool some of the best hive themed pieces we've seen in the game ever and i mean that i think this is just like like straight a whoever was who, whoever made this was cooking but unfortunately the glow overlap of the armor just really destroyed this armor for me not saying it's bad and that i'm never gonna use it but i have to really make sure i have all the shaders on point because if i don't then I, i'm gonna have situations where i one piece is glowing a weird color and everything else is just not so let me know what you guys think again i don't want to i'm not saying this armor is trash i'm not trying to bash this armor i'm not trying to be negative but i am giving you the facts of the armor shaders really terribly so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys other than that be safe i will see you guys later